Good morning, this is Morning Prayer for Friday, December the 31st, 2010. It's year one Christmas, and the scriptures for this service, Psalm 135. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15 to 25. And the Canticle of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. <clears throat> Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, praise the name of Yahweh. Praise, you servants of Yahweh. Alleluia. Psalm 135. Alleluia, praise the name of Yahweh. Praise, you servants of Yahweh, who stand in the house of Yahweh, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise Yahweh, for Yahweh is good. Praise God's name. God is gracious. For Jacob has been chosen, Israel for God's own possession. <clears throat> for I know Yahweh is great, that our Yahweh is high above all gods. Whatever Yahweh wills, Yahweh does, in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. God summons clouds from the ends of the earth, and makes lightning produce the rain, and sends forth the wind from the storehouse. The firstborn of the Egyptians God smote, of mortals and beasts alike, signs and wonders God worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all of his servants. God struck the nations in their greatness and slew kings in their splendor, Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. God gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to Israel, his people. Yahweh, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age, for you do justice for your people and take pity on your servants. The pagans' idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. House of Israel, bless Yahweh. House of Aaron, bless Yahweh. House of Levi, bless Yahweh. You who fear Yahweh, bless Yahweh. From Zion may Yahweh be blessed, the God who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise you servants of Yahweh. Alleluia. <clears throat> the lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65, beginning at verse 15b. To his servants he will give a different name, and then whoever invokes a blessing in the land shall bless by the God of faithfulness, and whoever takes an oath in the land shall swear by the God of faithfulness because the former troubles are forgotten and are hidden from my sight. For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard nor the distress, cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days, or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered cursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant, and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, or bear children for calamity. For they shall be the offspring blessed by Yahweh, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent, its food, shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says Yahweh. 
here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and found without fault on the day of judgment. For all of our church leaders and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and all may be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in the whole world. For those in positions of public trust, for a blessing on all human labor, for the unemployed, for Brian and Robert, and <clears throat> for the right uses of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, especially Stephen Michael, for all who suffer, for refugees and prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. For this congregation, for those who are present, for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all we do. For our enemies, for all who wish us harm, for all whom we have injured or offended. For our families and friends, for all who've commended themselves to our prayers, that being freed from anxiety they may live in joy and peace and help. For Lloyd and Louise, and Wayne and Tom, and Chuck and Kevin, and Sarah and Howard, and William and Philip, for Lloyd and Dan, and Joanne and Hugh, and Stephen and Howard, and Margaret and Dwight, and for all who died in the communion of the church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with Francis and Claire and all the saints they may rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. <clears throat> For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayer, and for your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat>